Hey guys, and welcome back to 72 t In today's video, we're gonna be talking about setting up a VPN, particularly on this particular modem. So we're gonna be looking at the Huawei B818-263. So we're gonna show you how to successfully set up a VPN on this particular router. And if you've got a Huawei router, you can similar follow along as well. Um, the steps should be pretty simple or they should be the same. Let's hope they are, but particularly we are gonna be looking at, as I said before, the B818 um, router up there. And these are the particular routers that you get with Optus 4G. So they are the routers that are currently shipped out, but you can actually put a VPN on it, which is pretty cool. So yeah, again, welcome everyone to our new studio and welcome to 2021. Hopefully um, this year will be a really good one. And we've got the new setup. Um, I'm not too sure how the camera quality is. We've got a new 4K camera. Um, also, you can overlook the actual whole office setup as well, which is pretty cool. So what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna jump straight into the uh, website, show you how to set up the VPN, and it's gonna be very simple. Now, we did this last year. And a lot of people really liked the video, but they said I wasn't explaining too much about it. So we're gonna explain a little extra info in today's video just to show you. And we're doing this through ExpressVPN. Again, you can try this through a few other VPNs, I believe um, IP Vanish works on there. And I believe NordVPN should work as well. So let's jump on to the computer and show you just what to do. Now, before we get started, you actually want to type this web address into your iPad or computer, whatever you're doing this on, and make sure you connect it to your internet, that actual modem, okay? So the web address that you want to type in is going to be uh, 192.168.8.1, okay? So type in that code. Now, remember, if you don't touch the screen within five minutes, it automatically signs you back out. So keep that in mind as well, as well because it just signed me out right there. So we're gonna sign back in and she had to successfully set up a VPN on this particular router. Let's you had to see my screen right here. So what we're gonna do, talk to you guys through first before we set up the VPN, is we're gonna be doing this through ExpressVPN and basically to get the codes that you need is pretty much go to manual configuration. From there, you're gonna have two main different options. So you're gonna have OpenVPN and then you're gonna have LTTP or TT or PPT. Now, what you wanna do is pretty much just click on the L2TP, click on that one, and you'll be bring to all these different web addresses right here, okay? If I scroll up, it reveals the password that comes with them. So pretty much you'll see the password there. So just copy and paste your username and password that is showing at the top of the screen right there. However, what we, we really wanna do from this page is pretty much copy the web address that we're wanting to connect to. So what server? Now, because we're in Asia Pacific, that um, comes within Australia. So that means um, we get to pick a few different codes here that we may want. If you're in America, you just click on the America tab, but because we need Australian connection, we wanna to go to Asia Pacific. Now, as you see, there's gonna be a few different Aussie um, servers we can connect to. We've got Australia Brisbane, um, Australia Perth, then we've got um, Australia Sydney, um, Australia Melbourne, and obviously you've got New Zealand if you wanna to connect to it. In today's video, we are gonna to connect to the Sydney one. So we're just gonna copy that, control C it. Um, and that will copy the um, uh, code right there, the um, web address. From there, what you wanna do is actually jump over to the um, router login, which is going to be this one right here. So as you see, this is the router login. And pretty much from here, um, that's the code you wanna just type in at the top of your page. And it should bring you to this and just whack in your username and password for the um, particular modem. Um, in some cases, it might be admin admin or admin password, uh, but mine's a, um, oh, it's just signed me out. Bear with us two seconds. As I said, if you're not, if you don't do it in five minutes, it signs you out. So let's just sign back in. There we are, and we're good to go. So what we wanna do um, to set up the VPN is pretty much go all the way to the end right here, and you wanna go to advance, okay? From advance, you're gonna see router. Click on the up arrow, okay? And then it's just gonna take you to VPN. So from here, you've got a few things you can do. Well, mainly one thing, enable the VPN. Now, as you see, I've already got a, um, it already set up here, but what we wanna do is you have a few things you can muck with. So as you see, you've got two different ones. Depending on what sort of VPN you are trying to join, as you see, you've got your uh, PPTP uh, VPN client. 
However, I find that doesn't work with ExpressVPN. It might work with IPVanish or not. However, it doesn't really work. It does with some service, but generally it doesn't work with Express. However, if you want it to work 100% with Express, no outages, nothing like that, you need to go to your L2P, uh, TP, uh, VPN right there. So that one is the one we are connected to. From here, you're wanting to, you're gonna see um, an area that is gonna say uh, LNS address. So pretty much that's the address we just copied before. So you just wanna paste that in right there. Now the host name can be anything you want. You can call VPN, I've just called it Brisbane. Uh, pretty much we can change that because um, the server is actually going to be called that's actually what the server is called so if you want to call it that um, you can now for the tunnel password is not the ExpressVPN password the tunnel password is whatever you want a password that you know you're going to remember it can be a personal password it can be a random password it doesn't really matter however it is compulsory to put a tunnel password there okay so anything you want you can put there down here, leave that as 60, I recommend. And as you see, you're gonna see the PPP username and the PPP password. That is going to be what ExpressVPN is gonna give you. And that will be on that page I showed you before. Just scroll up and copy that in. So pretty much, uh, that's the username that Express provided. Again, the password they provide, enter that in as well, copy and paste it in. And then from there, you can just hit save, okay? Um, I recommend keep that on auto because you don't really need to change that at all. From there, just hit save, okay? And in a few seconds, that should say connect. So we just wanna hit never to that and we're already connected. Now the best way to know if you are connected is pretty much open a uh, Google page and pretty much just type in IP. Okay, so pretty much right here. And just go down to this address right here. I find it is the best. And as you see, we're now in New South Wales. Okay, so that's definitely, and it gives us a different ISP. Normally that would be Optus ISP, so you can see we are connected to the VPN. So we can actually just close that off. And that's pretty much how simple it is to connect to a VPN. So if we go back to Express, just right here, and just to test this out a little bit, let's go to Singapore. Copy the code. Now you won't have to change anything. So pretty much all we need to do is go back into the router login, which is right here. All you gotta do is actually redirect us to Express. I think I may have hit something. Okay, so as I was saying, what you wanna do, go back to advance, um, go down to your router, go down to your VPN, and just to change the location of your connection, just copy and paste. As you see, we copied the Singapore connection. So when we hit save, um, so the username and password all stays the same, okay? That all stays um, the same. The only thing you're changing is the web address. And now if we open up an IP, the IP, which we'll just do another Google search. Okay. Right here and go down to the bottom one here. It should say we're in Singapore or it will say, yeah. So we're in Singapore and it tells you the ISP you are connected to. That's how simple it is. So it really is really simple and it shows you your IP address as well down here. So that's how really easy it is to connect a VPN on this particular router. It is so easy and I just wanted to show you how to do it on the Huawei router. If you found it helpful at all, let us know down below and that's pretty much, you're connected. You've now got a VPN on your router and it gives you more security. Um, so yeah, it's definitely something to do if you have a VPN and you wanna connect it. Definitely give it a shot, see if it works. And if you're having any issues at all, send us a comment down below and I'll try to give you the best feedback that I can and help. If I can't really help you, I may direct you to obviously the VPN that you are trying to have. A, uh, whatever the issue is, I'll tell you who to contact if I know the information. So yeah, thanks again for watching and happy 2021 and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.